right, let's get to the north wall display. So I showed you a little bit of the north wall display. I showed you the raw set whenever I displayed my west wall display, but right there at the top, so if you wanna see more of the raw display, you can just check out my west wall video. But right here, this is where I have some inbox figures that I don't wanna open up just yet. A couple of my other belts. I was trying to go for the, all, the complete set of Retro's inbox and the complete set in Lucy's, but I ended up kind of stopping halfway. But these are some of my favorite ones that I still have inbox, and I have quite a few of the rest of them stored away. Some more belts. Underneath there, this is just some clear space. I used to have a couple of cages up here, but I just recently, this, the, the Tough Talkers specifically, but then I recently moved that just to make some room. And this is where I've been, if I've been posting up stuff I want to have for sale, for trade. I've been putting that, just some figures that I just can part ways with. I'm not a big seller or trader, but just stuff that I just don't have any room for anymore. I just try to make some room, make a few dollars just to kind of add more to the collection. This shelf right here, just kind of a miscellaneous shelf. The top side, I have some of my favorite MMA figures in display. This pride ring I had kept my eye on for quite a while, and you don't see too many of them on eBay, and so I wanted to kind of grab one, you know, while they were still available at a decent price. So it's about, about $100, just under $100, if not $100, but this pride ring was released only in Canada, so I never had a shot at it whenever I was collecting these on first release. Uh, Dan Severn and I collected whenever it was originally retailed. It has since gone up in value. It's hard to find. I've been wanting to get one of him loose. And then the Hoist Gracie makes a great display, especially if you're part of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu business or martial arts business. So for a while there, especially before the pandemic, he was going real cheap if you found him loose. So anytime I'd see him loose at a decent price, under 20 bucks, I'd snag him up. Now he'd be lucky to find him for that. And then a couple of my VHS's that I was going to get rid of, but they actually make decent displays in with your figures. The belts, I didn't even know if they released a Pride or Ultimate Ultimate belt, but man, those things look really good with your MMA figures. Uh, Pride Grand Prix belt, and of course the UFC belt. I like the UFC that design better than the current belt that they got. But nonetheless, we move on here. I have my Toy Biz. Pretty sure that's Toy Biz or San Francisco Toy Makers. One of the two. I always get those two mixed up. But, God, that ring here that I displayed, I actually bought two of those this year. And so I'm trying to get rid of the other one. And then the, um, I had, I showed you how the entrance over there on my south wall of this entrance, old school entrance set. But inside it, it looks really good with some Mattel figures. And then I have some of the old late 90s WCW figures right here. So this is my little WCW display. And then the recently released Mattel Legends cage right here. And this is a couple of figures I haven't found a spot for just yet. I'm waiting for that new Legends 21 or 22. That Legend 22 Hogan to be released to put that Freddie Blassie with him. And then right here, these are a couple of inbox figures and some empty boxes here that I'm just some empty boxes that I don't want to get rid of and a couple of inbox figures that I haven't had a chance to open up yet because I don't quite know where to put them because my Hogan figure Hogan display is pretty packed so I don't quite have a spot for him just yet and this is the Rocky box for that championship belt there on the west wall this is one of two of my storage boxes that I got for the rest of what I have in here. <laughs> Just some, place, some wrestling figures and some Titan Tron Lives, because I used to actually have a the Titan Tron Live up here. That's what I did. I changed that up. This is just kind of taking up space, and I'll put that up seasonally. Underneath right here, this is my store some of my extra cages and that Tough Talkers, that Tough Talkers was up on top originally. This is like a, actually I have two attitude rings. <laughs> Not extra storage boxes, but like a attitude ring. I actually ended up with three of them. And I have stuff stored inside here. Oh, that's where I put my Tough Talkers. <laughs> and then these are some of my old magazines and books. That's one of my other entrance stages. I had that up here as well. But I just wanted to make some room, make it look a little bit more cleaner. And that's pretty much it. That's the 
the north wall there.